Stage six, goal five. You're doing great, but the pack's caught up, and it's looking hairy out there. Your fuel tank's near bone dry, not to mention the bungle of going off track would cause at this point. But I know you can do this. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I'm going to take a look at the garage value. we got 103.2 million. So we'll see what we end up with. 103.2. If we win, which I'm planning on winning, but I'm not sure if I'm going to win first time or not. I have three laps without going off track. Win. I'm in first place. The last time we had 8.8 .8 liters and we were only doing one lap, I think. Or two laps? I can't remember now. Now we have 15 liters, and we're doing three laps. And if I recall correctly, another event had a problem with the fuel line or pump or tank or something. And this one didn't mention something like that, so I suppose we're going to be able to do with less fuel since we don't have that problem. At halfway, I should still have 12 and a half liters. I'm still above 12 and a half liters, and I guess I'm not at halfway yet, but I'm using fuel or banging the wall. I'm not sure where a halfway point on this race is, but this track is. That'll help me a lot. So we passed it on with liters of fuel. That's not helping. Not helping. Got caught looking back. Let me get the 160, 170. Kind of hold it there. Hope 1.2 liters is enough to get to the start finish line. Six tenths of a liter left, that's good. That means I can use it more for speed in the last, last few laps. I'm going to get up to about 130 here and keep it around 130, 35. The halfway point, 7.5 liters would be good to have. I think I'm getting close to the halfway point in the track. At least that this is kind of where the halfway point of the leaders have been on this uh, conserving fuel challenge. And we're nowhere near seven and a half, so we're way above our fuel. We can use more for speed. In the later laps, that's a good thing. Get up to about 170 or so. Hold it around that point. At the start finish, five liters would be enough to finish the race, but I'm going to have plenty more left. I'll have 6.4.
Yeah, 1.4 liters more than I need to finish the race. I'm gonna take this up to 145 or so before I start conserving. Two and a half and a half point would be enough to get me through this race. And I'm gonna have more than way more than two and a half. This would be speed on out of here. He threw so behind. Stay on. <laughs> I'm getting speed. Speed vision in my head here. Got a 120 yard lead, that's a good lead. Down to 70. I'm increasing. Still haven't gotten to the halfway point in my leaders. I'm going to go up to 180, 90 maybe. Stay on. That's it. Yeah. Stay ahead. I made this race closer than I needed to. But I'm still going to win it. First time, yes. <laughs> I used a lot of resources. I raced it once in my walkthrough device and I uh, watched videos on YouTube. Real Racing Guru and um, read a lot about the events on the Wikia page W oh no rr 3 wikia w i k i a dot com and I recommend everyone go and look at those resources online and get some uh, advantages to your racing with with the uh, wisdom you find from uh, other racers there are many racers there that uh, impart wisdom and tips on how to run these events and win the cars. Recommended PR ratings, uh, upgrade costs and patterns and all. So it's a, it's a very good resource along with the, the videos you see on YouTube. This car has been interesting. I've got an engine upgrade, one, one, a five, three, three, drive training body, two, two on suspension and exhaust, three, three on brakes and tires. They don't give you much in the way of brakes. I mean, uh, they're going to take you. If I use the very last, is the very last? Yeah, if I use the very last upgrade, they're only taking the. Oh, this is. Well, it is brakes. It only takes you down to 138 feet from 139.9. That's not a lot of distance uh, to. You know, two feet will be big deal. So they just. They designed these supercars. For some reason, and maybe it's on accident that they do it, uh, that they have poor braking. Bonus series unlocked, supercars, Holden versus Ford. But I think that uh, I've read some about the restrictions on these cars. Uh, stage 6 complete, goal 5 complete, reward 35,000 racing dollars, and gold 25. Love it. And a new car. The brakes are provided by one supplier, and they say in general about the parts being um, controlled by regulations is to minimize repair costs. And I suppose brakes, if they're really good, may cost a lot more than brakes that are just brakes. So maybe that's part of the cost savings that they give you off the shelf or standard brakes that you'd find on any car or something near what you'd find on any uh, street car I don't know so it could be that's why the brakes are so bad well I'll be you did it I had faith in you mate but it's still near unbelievable <laughs> I had faith Mostert's practically bouncing off the walls in excitement 
Listen, you really saved us out there, and we couldn't have done it without you. I can't think of anyone more deserving of this Ford Falcon FGX than you, mate. I know you'll put her to good use. Maybe. Congratulations, you've won the Ford Falcon FGX. New bonus series is available now. I did not uh, compete for the Holden Commodore. Uh, I'd prefer Ford, but uh, I'm not a GM person. I think, but I think there's a relationship between Holden and GM. And I think it's a better car in some ways and, and uh, not as good as the Ford and others. Uh, I think, um, what is it, grip? There may be better grip on a Ford, I don't know. Um, something like that, but it's, it's very, they're very close. Um, and the thing about having poor brakes is you just have to adjust to them. You have to figure out what you need to do to get to the correct speed for your turns regardless of what the braking point is you have to back it up until it's right just keep backing up until it's right and then when you find that spot you just gotta remember to use those new spots <laughs> and it's just how fast can you address, adjust your driving patterns and your your driving in general to make the car do better than the other cars on the track 106 we had 1.3 Three million. Here's 103.2, and this is uh, 106.5. So two from five is three. It's like a 3.3 million dollar value car for very minimal gold outlay with the winnings. The winnings factored in, and the gold spent on the upgrades. I spent a total because I had. Uh, 30% off when I bought these gold upgrades. I spent only 128 gold and I won 70. So this car cost me 58 gold and gave me 3.3 uh, $3 million dollars worth of garage money. I think that's a pretty good uh, investment of time. And it was fun. It was an interesting uh, challenge. Learn how to be a better and different driver with a different car. So uh, I'm kind of looking forward to the gauntlet to see what I can do. I might go ahead and try to win the Nissan Altima because gauntlets are so easy to win the cars and keep your upgrade costs down but I am really looking forward to um, I think the next one is going to be the Regera I own the Regera in this device on my walkthrough device I do not own the Regera so I'll be racing one to win the car and another one to win the gold. And I believe it's a hundred, it's over a hundred maybe gold you win if you own the car already. So I'm excited about that. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for watching my videos. Good luck to you and your goals and Real Racing 3 and every, every event and all. And come back and see what we have going next in the Real Racing 3 game.